Hey, this is CD Channel. I'm Chris, and this is MMA for You. Uh, I'm gonna be doing like an MMA debate slash rant. Um, this is for our man uh, Rick1982. Uh, he has to um, for me to give my opinion about uh, Triple H's. Uh, he, he answered these uh, questions. Uh, this question to Movie Phone. Um, they asked, "How do you think WWE and pro wrestling?" Uh, needs to evolve as UFC and MMA grows in popularity. Um, most websites now, MMA Mania, Bloody Elbow, MMA Fighting, um, you can pretty much uh, find the transcript just about in most um, websites. And, um, you know, some of the things he said were true. Um, I'm, I'm definitely not in total disagreement here. Uh, I am a. Uh, pro wrestling fan myself, uh, me and uh, my friend Tony, we actually did like um, like an MMA debate about uh, MMA versus pro wrestling um, that you can probably find on here. Um, so I'm going to approach this also with looking at uh, some of the reactions from people in MMA, people in pro wrestling as well. Um, one thing that Triple H has said uh, is that I don't think we have to evolve. It's two di totally different things. I think now there's something like, oh, it's very similar. Um, okay, Jason Powell on ProWrestling.net said, um, you know, uh, Hunter, Hunter is entitled to his opinion regarding MMA, but to say that UFC has to evolve more than WWE is bold. Uh, particularly when the company just signed a lucrative deal that will land them more exposure than ever via Fox. Meanwhile, WWE ratings are clearly declining. Pro wrestling has to evolve um, in a big way. Honestly, sometimes I just read the results myself. Um, I'm not always the biggest fan of pro wrestling and some of their antics. Um, with MMA, I, you know, MMA is a constantly evolving sport slash entertainment, what, however you want to see it as it is, and it really shows by, I mean, they're on Fox now, you know, um, so, you know, I do feel that Triple H was a little off base there saying he, WWE doesn't need to evolve, to, be, uh, to evolve, however, um, I mean, he has to promote the product, you know, he, what's he, is he really going to say, oh yeah, WWE's in a total standstill, it's actually declining, we better evolve, he's not going to put down his own product, um, the thing that really got, uh, a lot of fans, uh, MMA fans, uh, really talking it was a statement when uh, Triple H said I don't see us needing to evolve to what UFC does because quite frankly sometimes the fights are long and boring guys lying around and sometimes the fights are fast and over in five seconds um, I've always thought one of the things about us if you look at us solely from a sports standpoint is that we always give you a good show we're never going to give you a crap game once again not every worker in the WWE is a good worker not every match is that good some there are boring matches there's a lot of rest holds you know there's a lack of ring psychology sometimes um, I have friends that are pro wrestlers too so uh, I'm, I'm I kinda know <laughs> some of this stuff uh, one of my friends constantly calls me asking hey, what what moves do you think I should add to my arsenal and what not um, there are a lot of boring matches you know it, it's it goes with MMA and um, and pro wrestling uh, the, the thing is though you know it, it's really unfair to say this because you know you pro wrestling can predict the outcomes uh, you know, and you know, dictate like how the the match is gonna go. Whereas MMA has that level of unpredictability, which people like. They want that unpredictability. They want that a match, a fight can go, you know, twenty seconds or fifteen minutes. You know, it. it 
it's that unpredictability that makes it more of a sport and more um you know that's where I think that Triple H isn't really looking at the big picture there you know it He's kind of ignoring that very obvious uh, thing that's a difference be different between uh, MMA and pro wrestling. One scripted, you can create the matches, the length, um, what spots are gonna happen, and, and whatnot. Um, uh, even um, so, Brent Brookhouse from uh, Bloody Elbow, he, he had. Um, he even went out to say there is uh, both truth and dishonesty in Triple H's statements. It is much easier to guarantee a specific type of event geared towards, uh, geared to a certain level of entertainment, uh, when you have control over the length and actual content of the action. That control, however, does not guarantee entertainment, as proven by thousands upon thousands of wrestlers who are near impossible to watch work, without being bored to tears or made sick by a horrible ability to do their job. Um, yeah, that pretty much says it all, you know. Uh, it, it's, that statement really got the ire of and irked a lot of like uh, MMA fans that are really opposed to pro wrestling. I like them both. I do, I, I do feel that a lot of the hatred towards pro, pro wrestling from MMA fans is really unwarranted at times. Um, if you don't like it, it's fine. Um, some of the comments I see is just like, you know, it's you know, just come off kind of kind of ridiculous at times. It, it like, you, you know, it, it like I said, if you don't like it, it, it's fine, you know. But you know, having friends in pro wrestling, it, it's not something like anyone can do or anything like that. It's and there's a skill and a method to the madness. There's mass psychology and whatnot. It, you know, pro wrestling at its peak, it, it's it's actually really fun to watch. Same with uh, mixed martial arts. You know, at its best, I really like watching pro wrestling. Whether it's like Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker, Samoa Joe, CM Punk, um, CM Punk, John Cena had some really good matches uh, as of late. You know, I can name a bunch that you know are just really fun to watch. Um, uh, uh, pro wrestling uh, matches. Um, same with uh, MMA. You know, there's a million good matches there. Um. Well, the thing I do agree with uh, Triple H is his statement about the entertainment standpoint. Um, you know, he was saying, give more form, just have fighters walk in, t-shirts and shorts, and just stand there, and then they fight, and then they go, thanks. And then they thank their sponsors. You know, he mentions how uh, Brock Lesnar, you know, the, everyone was um, up in arms over Brock Lesnar flipping off the crowd and, you know, being disrespectful to uh, Bud Light. You know, he, he talks about how, like, uh, Floyd Mayweather, he, he even said, I make the most money in boxing, and I have the biggest buyers because I have the biggest mouth. And, I, you know, I agree from a production standpoint and uh, whatnot that uh, mixed martial arts and the UFC in particular can improve on that aspect. That's not to say I want everyone want to be a chill son and heel. I, I don't want that. I do feel a lot of uh, MMA fighters are pretty stale, to be honest. Uh, you know, they, they, I don't feel... A lot of people think that if you have a personality in MMA, whether it's like Koshik or Sonnen, oh, that's too pro wrestling for me. You know, I don't like that. I don't want that. I don't want that to, like... As if it, like somehow does something to the purity of the sport of MMA. It, it, it's, it's combat sports. You know, boxing, ha, you know, guys like Ali just had some of the biggest mouths besides, like, the biggest skill, too. You know, uh, Jason Powell from ProWrestling.net said, like, yeah, meanwhile, I agree that Brock's heel antics created quite a stir, but the key to that being successful is that it comes across as genuine. Which it, do, which it does in his case. And everyone else on the show isn't doing the same thing. Um, as much as I get a kick out of Lesnar's antics, I wouldn't 
want to see a show filled with uh, UFC fighters healing it up. Um, my 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 thoughts exactly. You know, it's I don't have a problem with fighters trying to sell a fight a little more. You know, even GSP can be a little robotic, and a lot of people make fun of this. Oh, he's the toughest opponent I've ever had. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I'm gonna be at 100 percent. You know, he. He is the most dangerous man, you know, I will have ever faced. <laughs> you know, it's what he has to say in regards to his latest opponent is what he was saying about like his opponent five opponents ago. You know, and so I mean, I love GSP though. Don't don't get me wrong, but you know, it's a lot of fighters are kind of like that though, where it's just kind of like, oh, he's my toughest opponent. You know. I'm gonna watch out for everything um, that that he has. You know, I, I'm not gonna let it go to the judges. You know, it, it a lot of like cliched lines. You know, and, and I mean it's hard not to have cliched lines in. You know, when they're trying to hi hype up the fight and whatnot, um, but or, or talk about your opponent. But you know, yeah, a lot of these guys can definitely sell the fight better I think and not enter pro wrestling territory at the same time I I, I just feel that too many people uh, MMA fans get that mixed up you know if you act like Brock Lesnar if you act like Jill Sonnen or Josh Koscheck it's too pro wrestling for them and, and I just do not agree with that um so yeah and, and finally um what uh, CM Punk actually had to say was that um, on his Twitter, he, he pretty much said about his about uh, Triple H's comments, laugh out loud ignorance, if you don't evolve, you die. Uh, when a fan asked if uh, Triple H made that st statement, uh, CM Punk responded, yep, unreal, out of touch. Uh, they're, they're for the first part about saying like, oh, we don't need to evolve, the UFC needs to, you know, um, you know, the fights can be boring at times. It really makes them come across as a little out of touch. Um, so that's the thing. It's it's like kind of a half truth, I guess. Like, like I said, Triple H isn't saying anything that's totally off, especially when it comes to the entertainment part of. Uh, MMA and, and the UFC. Um, the other stuff about like the other stuff though, yeah, I think he's a bit out of touch, you know. Uh, but you know, once again, I'm gonna give him this. He has to. He works in pro wrestling in a very high position. He's not gonna put it down. <laughs> so I can see, you know. So he could just be working here too, you know. Like I said, he's not going to put down his product that he works for and has a big hand in. So, you know, I, I don't want to give him too hard of a time here um, because he, he just could be working here, uh, working the fans also. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Like, to sum it up, you know, I, I think that uh, with pro wrestling, you get to script everything and you know you get to dictate how a fight goes and of course you can make it entertaining in that sense but it's that unpredictability of MMA and you know the skill and everything else involved that makes people like MMA you know the fact that it's real it is of course versus fake um, it is another factor of course um, I do feel that, you know, a MMA fighters could sell their fights better. Um, I'll agree with Triple H on that, um, aspect. Um, to an extent, like I said, I don't want everyone to be that way. I, and also, like, I don't, I think that MMA fighters can have a personality without going full WWE. So, yeah.
uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, rant slash debate, uh, whatever you want to call it. If you have any comments, just uh, leave them below. And also, if you guys have any questions or anything, I'm, I'm down to answer them, um, actually. Uh, I like doing these Q&As and, and debates and rants and stuff. So, yeah, if you guys uh, want to, you know, have any suggestions for me as far as, like, uh, something to talk about, you know, shoot me in line. Yeah, and that's it for MMA for you. Thank you very much.